Yo, what up, YouTube? Day nine here, D twenty nine, Don Quix twenty nine. Here with another call update. I have seventeen calls made so far, sixteen on the screen right now, but seventeen in total. And uh, all the calls in this call update are on the community creations for download. Search D twenty nine for my calls, my actual calls, me only. Search RTW for other members of RTW and some other random people calls as well. Uh, first on the screen is Jimmy Valentine. I showed Jimmy Valentine in the last call update. But I'm showing him this time around because I updated his attire. Now, when I made him the last time, I had no problem with what he had on. I just knew that I was eventually going to do something different. And I went with a skirt attire. Now, I was just randomly in my head had the idea to put him in a skirt thinking that it would look fine. And it actually came out looking great. Uh, I was going for a headbangers type look and he came out looking more so like Raven. So yeah but it works out either way so he's on the cc right now uh next up is aaron owens a lot of people may ask for aaron owens and here he is aaron owens one half of ohana uh ao came out great this year like i love everything about him from the face to the body morphing to the attire to the tattoos which speaking of the tattoos i did not do the tattoos myself uh I upload my calls on Cause WS as well, and somebody on Cause WS made Aaron Owens this year before I did. And he showed me the tattoos that he gave him, and I love the tattoos that he used. So I went on here and used the exact same tattoos. So uh, they came out great on the ribs. It says uh, Ohana means family, family means nobody get left behind. That's what Ohana is. Uh, that's saying I heard the first time I ever heard that saying was from a cartoon called Lilo and Stitch. I don't know if y'all remember that, but uh, his attire is a version of what he had on uh 16. Uh, pretty much it's the same, but it's you know a little a little changed up here and there. Um, new entrance attire. I didn't go with the t-shirt this year. Uh, the same guy that did the tattoos, he also gave him this exact same entrance attire, but he had it black. I decided to go red. So that's ao and um next on the screen is jesse owens it's uh his older brother but not by that much because they're twins uh jesse came out great this year as well um they have different faces from 16 because i found the better face to use and um jesse tattoos are a bit different as well from the same guy he uh sent me the tattoos for jesse too which i liked and jesse attire is pretty much the same as ao's only difference is uh like different elbow pads and knee pads uh that's pretty much they they you know they're tag team they're brothers they're ohana they're family so um i'm thinking about giving them a singles attire just to give it to them so like if you guys want to use them but you don't want to use them as uh, the tag team then you know they could have a single attire just gotta think of just gotta figure out what i'm gonna do for a single attire for ao and uh jesse um i think i might go with the championship idea for ao but for Jesse, I do not know. Uh, on your screen, you're seeing right now Jesse with the same issue as tire as AO. Um, they're also both on the CC as well. Again, everybody in this video is on the community creations. Uh, just search D29 or RTW, or you can search by name of the calls that you want to see. Jesse owns AO, etc. Next on the screen is Dread. Um, Dread came out nice this year. I love everything about Dread. I made him the first time on Next Gen on 2K15, and ever since I ain't made him again, and he looks pretty much completely different from what he did on 15. The attire is the same, but just a different color. And on pants instead of tights this year. I love the tattoos. His face paint. Now the face paint, I knew what I wanted to do. I was going with a I had in mind like a Papa Shango meets Mortis Chris Canyon from WCW type look as far as the face paint and I did it but when I did it Infamous aka Insanity he saw it and he said it looked a little cartoony so thank Insanity for the updated realistic looking face paint because he actually tweaked it for me and did it and you know I appreciate that because it came out looking way better. Now you see in the second attire, which is just a color swap. I don't know which color looks better, the dark green or the dark purple. So you know, I just did both of them. Uh, next on the screen is DC, Mr. DC Nation himself, Darius Chains. Um, DC, uh, pretty much the same 
as uh as last year. I uh I changed his hair. First I gave him some short hair and I just wasn't really I gave him the same short hair from sixteen actually and I wasn't really feeling it. And I changed it to something else and I wasn't feeling that. And then uh I decided to go with the dress and it worked out great. Um Attire is the same. I did it a little bit different. It looks better. The trunks looks better than it did on 16 because of the. I did them piece by piece this year instead of doing it like one whole logo. Uh, his tattoos are the same. Only tat that's different is the right arm tat. The same guy that did AO and Jesse tats. He also had a tattoo that he used for his own version of Darius Change, which I used as well. Uh, it's just tire is the same as last year. I still use the Enzo Omore jacket because. He has a cheetah print attire and the jacket already is cheetah print so it works. Next on the screen is the Carta. Carta Heights aka the Carta. Um, black as shit. <laughs> his tattoos are... I didn't put transparency in his tattoos because I forgot to do it because of the glitch. But because he's so black it actually works out so I don't think I'm going to just keep it like that. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for Carter ever since next gen came around. I didn't make them on 15 or 16 because they didn't have the fro. Actually, I think they did have the fro on 16, but I just didn't make I didn't know what to do for them. So I decided to go with the Gucci print. Now, Infamous did Gucci print for Infamous uh, back on last gen, and I didn't want to do it anything like that. I wanted to go with a more casual Gucci print type of tire, and that's what I did. And I love it. So, next is AJ Punk. AJ Punk is originally one of Insanity's aka Infamous's creations. Now, I think this is the third year I've created AJ Punk myself. I created him the first time on, I think, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, and then on 2K14, and then now 2K17. So, the attire he has is the exact same attire that I made those, those times on last gen. Exactly the same. The only thing different is the boots because I couldn't get the exact same boots, but what's on the boots are the same. Uh, he has updated tattoos of course because it's next gen and the hair idea to put that punk in his hair like spray painted was infamous's idea and I went and redid it after I tried it the first time because he updated it and it looked great so this is AJ Punk next on the screen is everybody's new favorite uh, DJ Fresh uh, aka the Fresh Prince of RTW so Basically, what happened was I was randomly looking for patterns on Google and I found some patterns. But then when I found the patterns, I seen uh, this Fresh Prince pattern that, uh, Will, that Will had on in the show. Like, you know, you turn the jacket inside out. I seen that pattern. I didn't use it, but it just made me think of you know, Fresh Prince. So I decided to do a search for logos and I found every logo that I use for this attire, which you see in the creation video. And it just came out with DJ Fresh. So, he's one of my new favorites. Next on the screen is Montana. Formerly known as Cuban Montana, but it's just Montana now. I love how he came out. I dropped the Cuban part because I felt like it was redundant. Because he's already from Havana, Cuba. And his name is Montana. So, he's pretty much already Cuban Montana. Um, his attire is different from what I've made. I think this is my first time making him on Next Gen anyway. Uh, different. From what I ever gave him, I like how it came out. I went simple, really, for the most part. Kind of like a casual look. Uh, that tattoo on his arm, he doesn't have anymore. I, I don't like it. It was an eyesore. So. But he came out great this year, too. Next is Andre Hood. Uh, Andre Hood, Andre Cash, Soldier. All them different names he had as I've been creating him over the years. Uh, this year, as you see in the creation video, I went with the Atlanta Hawks uh, attire pretty much I just knew what I wanted to do I wanted to go just Atlanta base for his attire and that's just pretty much what I did so what I did for the pants pretty much was uh, I looked at the Atlanta Hawks socks like you know I play NBA 2K a lot and they have these long Atlanta Hawks socks that are black exactly like the bottom of his pants and I pretty much did that with his pants on the top and the bottom then just gave him a jersey and called it a day so came out great Next is Alex Wolf. Alex Wolf is not my call originally. It's one of my guys named ATV. Uh, he asked me to could I create him a he asked me could I find him a face texture a while ago, like around when the game first came out. And I said if I think about it, you know, if I come across one, I'll do it. So I did it, but while looking for a face texture, I also found I just typed in Wolf to see what I would get. And I found a bunch of logos that I liked and that's what happened. That's how Alice Wolf came about. Love how he came out. 
Uh, he was on the community creations. He's not now because I had to rotate some people because I only have 10 at the moment that I could upload. But he was on the CC. He will be back on the CC soon when I have some more slots. But that's pretty much it, man. I'm detouring now and I'm out.